disturbing when I'm going over this information, but I need you to really pay attention. All right. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we want to do is go over a little review, which was um, adding and subtracting uh, fractions when we have unlike denominators. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at this, when we're adding and subtracting unlike denominators, a lot of reasons why people do not like fractions is because when we had to learn how to add and subtract them, it becomes a little bit of work. So basic rule of process for um, adding and subtracting rational expressions is determining the LCD. Now, the kind of tip or a little bit of a hint for finding the LCD is the easiest way to find the LCD is to simply multiply your two denominators. Because what the LCD represents is your least common denominator, the smallest number that both of your denominators divide into. So an easy way to always find a number is to multiply your two denominators. However, ladies and gentlemen, that does not always provide you with the least common denominator. And for example, I'll give you two numbers. If I said find the LCD of 9 and, t 9 and 2, you would multiply 9 and 2, and that would give you 18, which is the least common denominator. However, if I said what's the least common denominator of 9 and 3, you would multiply them to get 27, but 27 is not the least common denominator. 9 is the least common denominator because 9 and 3 both divide into 9. All right? However, in this case, the least common denominator is going to be 21. So I always like to write the least common denominator separately, and I just write in 21. Write now, down? I would definitely write this down in the instruction. Yep. So now, basically, what we're going to do, basically, what we're going to do for this case is um, we need to get both of these to be the denominator. So to get 7 to be 21, I need to multiply by 3. And to get 3 to be 21, I need to multiply by 7. Now, we can't just multiply our denominators by a number and not multiply the numerous because that would change the value. We need to make sure we multiply the same number up top and on the bottom to produce what we call equivalent equations. I have no idea. So sorry about that. Four is random. So now, when you multiply fractions, you're basically multiplying across. So what we obtain is a negative 14 divided by 21 minus 9 divided by 21. Seven and three are your common denominators. You've got to, multi you got to determine what numbers to multiply to get to your LCD, which in this case is 21. So, so now we have common denominators. So when we're combining common denominators, adding or subtracting, we keep the common denominator and just apply the operation to the numerator. So this is saying negative 14 minus 9. If you owe me $14 and you borrow nine more dollars, you now owe me $23. So our final answer is negative 23 over 21.